Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how to do a DTF. DTF stands for Direct to Film. It's a full color transfer that can work on old fabric materials as well as metals, so wood, just anything that doesn't melt at 320 degrees. DTF printers are pretty expensive. Those are six color printers, uh, which is about a two, three thousand dollar range. And uh, we start uh, building the DDI printers. Then we recently we add uh, a DDI printer repair service, so we know the in and out of DTF. Compared with uh, the submission and heat transfer, the DTF provides a more soft and a comfortable pattern. The color is more vivid. Here's a DTF, and uh, you can see it's soft and comfortable, and have a really good breakage, and. Uh, also, the wash cycle is amazing. It's much better than the heat transfer that people normally do. Don't worry, you actually you don't have to break a bank to get this thing started. Today, I'm going to focus on a just regular four-color system that can print on regular uh, uh, white or light background fabrics. And we're going to use uh, this product called a V-Laser 25A4. Uh, transfer film depends on your printer. If your printer is wide format, you can get A3 transfer film, or if it's a regular desktop, you can get A4 transfer film. And of course, you will need a bag of uh, DTI powder. Today, when you're going to use a way lesser DTI powder. If you decide uh, DTF is not for you, you can also use this powder as a hack to work with a sublimation ink that you can transfer on the cotton. So it can reduce the cost and also widen the range of fabric that, that you can work on. Here's an example of uh, professional printers. And uh, you can print uh, the white color as a background, and uh, then you can transfer on the dark or black fabric. But today we're going to work on a much cheaper printer that uh, is more accessible to people. We will only print on the white or light background colors. And uh, so you can see just a basic eco tank. Uh, one I fill with the sublimation, another one I fill with the DTF ink. We'll do some minor modification of the printer, which I, I'm going to cover in another video. But today I'm just showing you the process. So basically, you get this eco tank. And it can be any regular printer or it can be a sublimation printer. And what you do is you do a little bit of modification of the, the paper feeding tree and uh, the plan. And uh, then you just change the ink to the to a DTF ink. Open up your Willacer package. And it has a little background how to do the DTF. And have a really good introduction there. Make sure you read the, read the leaflet. Next, we're going to see which side is the print side. Usually, the film are double coated. One side is coated for print. Another side is coated just for paper feeding. So I, 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 I don't trust. Uh, people tell me which side it is. I always test the first page. What you do is uh, just grab a razor blade and uh, start scraping the coating. And you're gonna say you're gonna see one side has more coatings than the other side, and uh, that side with more coating is the print side. You should print on that side. Once you get a first page decided, and you can uh, take a sharpie, just write a uh, write, uh, print on this side, on the back. And uh, do not take all the film out. Just take, uh, take them out one, well, like one by one. Now we need to glue this uh, film on a piece of uh, legal size paper. So we make a T first. Then we put a little bit of uh, glue on each side. The T in the middle is to support the film feed. And uh, the little bit on the each side is prevent the, uh, the film to curl up and uh, hit and strike your print head. And then after we do the feeding side, and we're going to do the same thing uh, at the end of the page. Now we can feed the uh, paper in, into the back plate and start printing. 
Another thing is, uh, if you do not have a modified uh, BH, uh, BCH printer, uh, you might have some problem with uh, paper feed, and uh, which the printhead strikes on the film. And what you can do is just like uh, maybe uh, do not print the picture this large, and just move around your move around your images, make it smaller. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, a better solution is just get, uh, get one of the modified uh, eco tanks from a BCH. By modified, I do not mean it's modified for submission. You need a printer that modified for DTF printing. The difference is because DTF uses a lot of ink, so you want one uh, that modified to remove the star wheel, so you will not have star wheel problem. Another thing is uh, you need a flat paper tray to catch the film, so make sure the film is flat. After you get the film printed, and uh, you can just uh, uh, dose it with a large amount of powder. The powder is going to stick with uh, ink. And next, we need to uh, bake the film. You can have a professional oven. Uh, you can get just search for DTF oven on Amazon. Or uh, you can do some poor man's method, such as you use your kitchen oven. And uh, also, uh, what you can do is uh, use my uh, hack, which I just use a regular press. I put uh, I put the film on it. You guys, it has a lot of uh, powder crystals, so that's why it look uh, whitish. I already heat heat up the plate, and now I put the the film on, and then I use a piece of wood to stop the platen from going all the way down. And then I just put some weight on top of the press. Of course, you need to set the temperature a little bit higher than the recommendation and also just bake a little bit long. Once it's ready, uh, you're going to see the white uh, glue crystal is going to be melted and uh, it's sort of like a, look like a dewish or like a sweat. And you can see uh, it's more see-through and uh, there's no white powder left. Now we're ready to press. The recommended uh, press time is printed on the Wayliser uh, package. I usually go with the high, the high end first, then I just lower it and uh, lower, lower the temperature and or like uh, shorten it. When the film is cool to the touch, you can start peeling it from the side. And uh, that's all you need to do to make a DTF. You can see it's not that hard, right? And it uh, doesn't take much money if you're willing to convert your own printer. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.